Let me just give my view on, on Rwanda. Mm. I have a real issue with 170,000 people being in this country, and I'll argue, and James is here, James Hanson, about I have a real issue about it, and I will argue the toss on anybody. We need to process these people. Yeah. But it is utterly yes. extraordinary to me. We were talking earlier about the NHS. The NHS doesn't work. T in 2024, to be a country that is so pathetically incapable of creating a processing system that deals with these people, and yes, the genuine ones say, but actually, the ones that don't, do one, mate. The government should have concentrated on that and getting returns agreements. And every time I hear about it costs this or it does that, I mean, one one flight takes off 500 yeah. people. That's a tick, is it, Rishi? The public well, are bored of this. They want an answer. They are bored. And I think what's really interesting is how unsurprising this latest defence yeah. is. No one's surprised. No. The public aren't surprised because the public don't expect to see these flights taking off anytime soon, if ever. MPs aren't surprised. I think the government privately will admit they... You know, if they get one flight off between now and the election, whenever that is, they'll be very happy. But you're right, you know, there's a huge backlog and it does make you wonder why, from a bureaucratic point of view, can't we clear it? And in fairness to the government, on certain things, remember the passport office had massive issues a few years ago? Yeah. If you renewed your passport, you couldn't get one for months. They've cleared that now. So why wouldn't you employ so 2,000, 5,000 people straight away as a task force to deal with this backlog well, in this country now? They did do that and mm. they just ended up either passing people through without properly being vetted or rejected people who absolutely had a right to remain in the UK. They, they did. They shoved tens of thousands of people through just, without doing it properly. I just don't understand. But this is just going to be political ping pong, isn't yeah. it, James? Yeah. Um, do you think that this is all that the Tory party really have left to keep in the trying to get... That's <laughs> yeah, all they've got left in the well, tank, it seems. It, it's a curious one because there are some in the Tory party who say, let's keep talking about Rwanda because we know the public are concerned about illegal immigration, so let's show that we're on their side. And yet, the more you talk about it, the more you're illustrating the fact you haven't dealt with the issue. I, I agree. One of the things I wanted to say, actually, um, tonight, just to remind people, Keir Starmer, Sir Keir Starmer, was speaking to the Sun's Harry Cole. It's the first episode of a new show. It's on eight o'clock. It's called Never Mind the Ballots. Let, let, we're going to play that. Let me just say to you, I want Harry Cole to say to Keir Starmer, come on. What are you, the Labour Party, going to do? You've told us, and quite understand, the government's plan isn't great. What is Labour's plan?